They have the Empress and then Justice is here. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So somebody, this could be you and this Empress energy. You could be someone that's an Aries. Justice is here. Or you could be a Libra. Um, I'm getting you and this Empress energy. And um, Justice is being served for you. It's like something is being balanced out. It's like somebody could have found out the truth about something. Ace of Swords. Somebody have gained clarity. And then Five of Pentacles is here. It's like they could have left somebody out in the cold. Somebody is being left out in the cold. Because somebody found out the truth about something and um, their justice is being served. Three of Cups is here. Knight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles is here. So this is somebody that wants to run towards you. They could want to come towards you because they trust you. They look at you as someone that's a hard worker. You're very um, loyal. This person wants to possibly be in a commitment with you. This could be somebody that's coming towards you. They could have left somebody out in the cold after finding out the truth and they want something to be balanced out. This person wants to celebrate with you, three of cups, reconcile with you. They could have found out that you have a divine connection with them. Yeah, five of cups and then the judgment card is here. Somebody is in regret because they're under judgment. It's like they're receiving karma for trying to confuse this person. Seven of Cups and then King of Swords. They were trying to confuse this person that um, cut them off. Caused some type of illusion around this person. This was someone that was supposed to cut this person off and leave them out in the cold. Because this person is under some type of judgment. And um, King of Wands is here. Three of Wands. It's like this person could have cut them off because they made a decision to um, use their intuition they could have went, through, you know, got spiritually woke. They're more intuitive. And this is why they cut this person off. Yeah, and it's like they're on the chariot. They're moving forward or they moved on. Eight of Cups is here. They walked away from all confusion. When they cut this person off. Yeah, this is somebody that needed to heal. The star card is here. They wanted this person to be blinded to who they are. If this is someone that was chosen to heal, help other people get woke, this person is a spiritual leader, they wanted that person to be blinded to that. They didn't want them to know that they were chosen. They didn't want that person to come towards you. They didn't want this person to know that you were someone that was chosen to, um, you were chosen for them and you and this person have a divine connection. Yeah, this is somebody that was causing deception. But whatever they were doing in the Seven of Swords energy, it was rejected. Four of Cups is here. And they're heartbroken. They're depressed. It's like now they're trying to figure out how to balance something out. As something came back around, they ended up getting exposed. The Sun card is here. A lot of stuff was illuminated about this person. Whoever was causing the deception. King of Pentacles is here. It's like they're heartbroken because this person see, it sees them for who they truly are. They were accustomed to operating out of the Seven of Swords energy. Like this is somebody that could have been attached to that person, that was stealing from that person, cheating them out of stuff. If they were in a relationship, they would uh, set this person up, cheat on them, do a whole bunch of stuff in a sneaky, deceptive way. And that person would just be at the Seven of Cups confused. But now this person is seeing things for what it is. They're heartbroken. Over whatever decisions they made, they never expected this person to get woke. Two of Swords and the Star card is here. Yeah, it's like they're coming towards you in this King of Pentacles energy. 
they look at you as a queen of pentacles or they see you in this queen of pentacles energy like you're working hard focusing on yourself focusing on whatever it is that you want out of life but it's like you're someone that's an empress you can embody all queens in the deck in the upright position justice is coming in for you because you're someone that's a divine being Ace of Cups in the reverse. And Ten of Swords. Wow. This person is realizing that they should have never, you know, showed love to whoever this person is that betrayed them. This is somebody that didn't have love for them. They um, didn't have any emotion for that person. It was all confusion. Then Knight of Wands is here. It's like they could have came in and, um, you know, had sex with this person and confused them. They did something that was hidden to get this person to even be attracted to them or have sex with them. And that person didn't even know. The hair fine is here. It's like they wanted that person to trust them. And then Tower is here. Yeah, this person, is, they're going through a tower moment because you could be in this energy where you're this high priestess. And um, this person is the hair font. This, These are twins. This person went through a realization. It's like they're seeing them for who they truly are. You exposed. It's like you knew hidden knowledge about this Knight of Wands energy. If they were attached to your twin, you could have been having dreams as you're someone that's very uh, spiritually gifted. Visions. You were able to read that person's energy because they were attached to your twin. It's like they were coming to you exposing their self. As they were in this night of wands energy just doing stuff without thinking. They were under the impression that they were just, you know, at the seven of swords. They wouldn't get caught. And um, this would never come out, whatever they were trying to do. This person would never realize the truth. Now they're heartbroken. Because as you're at the, the seven of swords, you go straight into the eight of swords. You, you're caught. You're stuck. Six of Swords is here. And then Five of Swords is here. <laughs> wow. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles. It's like this person have been holding on to you because they know that you're their twin. And it's like, they could see you at the Six of Swords. Like, sailing away. Or you were being divinely guided to sail away from this person. As they were confused. Yeah. Because they could have been still attached to this person as they were at the Seven of Swords. And everything that they were doing was rejected. And this person was in regret when they were receiving karma. They were confused. They possibly were confused and didn't know why they were fighting some type of situation. Or they were in this King of Swords energy. Very distant from you. And it's like, if this is someone that did not have genuine love for this person. This person was attached to them and they were mirroring their energy. This was something that needed to be closed out. Whoever they were attached to. Because they were just keeping their self distant from you until they left that person out in the cold. But now it's like they see you moving forward and it's like they're trying to win at all costs to hold on to you. Five of Swords, it's like they're determined to hold on to you. They know that you're their twin. But they see you at the Six of Swords. It's like they want to come in union you with you and they want to build a Ten of Pentacles with you. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's like they know that you and them are destined to um, partner up, work together, build the Ten of Pentacles together. But yeah, they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to move forward. Ace of Pentacles and then Eight of Wands is here. It's like they're getting ready to come towards you. They could want to give you something, Ace of Pentacles, or they just want abundance with you. They want to start over with you. They want to... Um, Want to be in a commitment with you. Eight of Swords is here. As I said, this person that was at the Seven of Swords, they went straight into the Eight of Swords. It's like they're stuck. 
and they didn't even know they were stuck spiritually and that's how you were able to read their energy or expose them or find out some type of hidden knowledge about them because you're someone that's very spiritually gifted wow yeah this person is someone that's there in this energy where they they're weak they're stuck in some type of situation and they can it's like with the strength card being in the reverse they're stuck in a situation and they they are not going to have have strength for whatever they got caught up in they're weak they could go through a go through a mental breakdown nine of swords is here like a they're stressing it's like they're in their head about something they went from the seven of swords eight of swords nine of swords then you have the ten of swords here this person was literally trying to pin you down ten of swords high priestess and knight of wands they came in quick did something without thinking now they're in this ten of swords energy wow two of cups is here and then nine of pentacles is here They see you in this nine of pentacles energy is whoever your twin is and they want to partner up with you. This is all they're thinking about. Nine of swords is here. Two of wands is here. And then king of cups is here. It's like they don't know what to do. Or they could be waiting for something. Wow. Well, so it's like this person is coming towards you to partner up with you. They could have been stressing over a situation that, you know, they were stuck in. The hangman and the reverse. This is like getting enlightened. Getting out of um, whatever, you know, feeling stuck or being stuck. Getting out of that situation. And this person was, you know, wanting you to wait for them or they were waiting on something. Yeah, Six of Wands is here. It's like whatever situation that they were caught up in, this was something that needed to be completed out in order for them to have victory. It's like they're coming out of the situation. They're going to have victory. Six of Wands is here. The world is here. And then Queen of Cups. Yeah, they're coming towards you after completing the cycle out. Page of Swords is here. But it's like now they're sitting back watching you, observing you. And then the moon card is here. And page of pentacles is here. It's like they've been watching you in secret. They've been researching and um, researching and looking at things a whole nother way. Wow. Ten of wands is here. And then page of wands in the reverse. Somebody is weighed down because this person is no longer communicating with them. Whoever this person is that was causing deception, they could be secretly watching you as well. And they knew that person was secretly watching you. And it's like they're weighed down because this person don't want to communicate with them or something like that. Ten of Cups is here. This could be a family member. Seven of Wands and then the Empress here. Wow. I'm so done. It's like this could be a family member, somebody that they looked up to, somebody that was mature. And um, this could be a father figure. Something backfired on. The Musician and Six of Pentacles is here. If this was someone that was being very tricky, it just came back to them. Equal give and take. It backfired. Seven of Pentacles is here. And then the Fool card is here. This person is coming towards you because they want to invest with you. They want to build with you. And they want to apologize, page of cups. Or they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. It's like they've been manif trying to manifest you. It's like whoever this person is, they could have knew that this person was trying to pin you down for harsh, painful endings. But they didn't know why. 
they could have thought this person was trying to get their attention or this person was um somebody that had love for them and that's why they were doing whatever they were trying to do at the seven of swords to you but what they did not want that person to know is that they didn't want them to get woke they didn't want that person to know that you knew some hidden knowledge about them you hadn't spoke the truth they didn't want that person to know any of that so it's like they had that person at the seven of cups and illusions and confusions now that this person is woke and they're no longer communicating with that person they're way down and now this person wants to come towards you and they want to apologize to you because they were confused yeah they want to balance something out temperance is here six of cups is here queen of swords and then three of pentacles and then the death card is here wow so it's like this was a dead end situation whoever this king of i mean whoever this emperor is something backfired on that person so they could have had a father helping them because whoever this queen of swords is this is somebody that they have been knowing for a long time somebody that they needed to cut off that was causing some type of confusion they could have worked with that person they could have been in a relationship with that person they could have been another family member and they were um they had help behind the scenes to try to confuse this uh your twin and th this caused a transformation a death card this year it caused this person to put an end to something it's like they realize that these are people that were creating blockages for them queen of wands is here this could have been somebody that was attracted to you whoever this emperor is eight of pentacles is here knight of cups and four of swords is here yeah they were trying to keep this person in isolation because they knew this person wanted to connect with you and they were working hard to try to keep this person in isolation because they were attracted to you this is something serious yeah they were trying to stop that person from coming towards you and they were working hard and it's like when you're operating in that type of energy working hard to try to keep somebody away from another person you eventually expose yourself. Whoever this person is that was desperately trying to pin you down and they want that person to be confused of why they were trying to cause enemies for you because you knew hidden knowledge about them. This person was doing something like they were literally trying to cover up their tracks. So as they were doing something over and over and over again, determined to um, cause deception for your life, that, that made this person realize like, if you didn't do nothing, then why are you sweating it? It's like this person had to trigger something that you had done did. Spoke some truth about something you had done did for you to be this pressed. <laughs> this is sad. But this person, would be, it's like this person does not have a mind. They're very immature. They operate out of childish energy. They don't think before they do stuff. That's how they ended up getting exposed. That's why they're sitting back in regret and experiencing bad karma. It's like they're under judgment. They were being judged the entire time and they didn't know. Ace of Wands is here. Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Hermit, and then um, the Devil. Oh. Yeah, then nine of wands, five of wands, and then nine of pentacles. This is sad. This person was behind the scenes, literally trying to, you know, they figured they would get this person's attention if they would secretly, you know, copy you, one up you, or something like that. They could slow this person down, distract them. They did this over and over and over again. It's like this person made their self weak. This is someone that's very selfish and they operate out of devil energy, but they hide it. They keep it hidden. This person could be trying to act like they're happy and different stuff like that. But deep down with this hermit car and the devil, this person is obsessed. Literally obsessed. With whatever they're overindulging in. This is sad.
Yeah, these are people that were trying to block your love life. It's like they see that you're receiving good karma. As the Empress and Justice popped out, Ace of Swords is here. The truth have been revealed. Yeah, they're experiencing bad karma. Yeah, these were jealous family members that were attached to this person. So this was like a father figure, and then this was another person that was in their family. That were secretly, you know, trying to keep this person away from you. Because they were trying to keep this person binded to some type of um, addictions, bad habits, obsessions. And they could have did those bad, you know, the, they could have operated in a toxic, low vibrational energy with that person. Wow. True love is here. Private investigator is here. And then reevaluate is here. Yeah, it's like they knew, they could have been watching you and they knew this person was your true love. You were this person's true love. But this person was watching you too. But they were also attached to the people that were trying to confuse them. So it's like it made them reevaluate and pay attention to things that were going on around them as they were watching you. This is how the truth came out. Yeah, jealousy. These are people that were jealous. Just so happen to be people that are family. Powerful ancestors is here. You're someone that has powerful ancestors. Endings is here. You're someone that's celibate. And then separation is here. Yeah, it's like ever since you have not communicated with this person or you've been in separation or something like that, these people have been trying to cause endings for you. And then celibate is here. It's like they could have been trying to keep this person uh, detached from you or in separation out of jealousy. They could be jealous that you're someone that's celibate. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Yeah, wrong path is here. They, these are people that were trying to keep this person on the wrong path. Made this person realize they were on the wrong path. And these are people that were secret haters. Scorpio is here. You could be a Scorpio. One of these people could be a Scorpio. Equal give and take is here. And then hidden emotions. Wow. <laughs> You're protected. And then a federal case. So it's like a federal case is open behind the scenes because there's a private investigator involved. But you're protected. Justice is being served for you. It's like they know the truth about these low vibrational energies that were trying to cause deception for you and this person because you and this person share the same soul. It's like they were trying to block you and this person's love life. Equal give and take is here. So this person could feel like with this hidden emotion that you have hidden emotions for them, you can feel like this person have hidden emotions for you. Lustful energy is here. And then stalker. Yeah, it's like the, these are people, some of these people were stalking you in this lustful energy. They knew you were someone that was celibate. They were hoping and wishing they could come in and try to, you know, confuse you or confuse that person about who you are. And they would slide in and try to have sex with you. Now, these are people that knew who you were to that person. And these were jealous family members. I'm so done. Libra is here. You could be a Libra. One of these people could be a Libra. Destiny is here. It's like now this person know they have a destiny. Lessons learned. They realize they were learning lessons around these people. And it's like this person could have been under, you know, thinking that, you know, they would always, they, you know, people sometimes think they, they have to just stay stuck or attached to their family. Once you start noticing who anybody is, whether it's family, friends, uh, colleagues, associates, it's time to go towards a whole nother direction. And it's like if it's your family, you can love them from a distance, but you're not going to continue to let confusion um, be caused or illusion to be caused around you. You're not going to, you know, continue to be lied to. You're not going to continue to stay stuck around people that are jealous and envious of you. 
secretly trying to one up you, compete with you. No, and then they try to hide it. You could have some. This person could have got some type of warning about these people. You could have warned that person, and everything backfired. Especially if this person did not believe you. Because some people look, oh, that's my family, that's my cousin, this is my friend. This person wouldn't do that. But it's like you're someone that knows this hidden knowledge because this is your twin. And this is why they um, envious and jealous of you. Emotional is here. Somebody is in their emotions because something backfired. Everything backfired. This is somebody that knew about this twin flame journey way before they did. This person could be a Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Whatever this energy is, this was a karmic feminine. But that person found out the truth. This person was playing with black magic. Aquarius is here. You could be an Aquarius. One of these people could be an Aquarius. And then divine connection is here. They tried to place black magic over divine connection because they knew you and this person shared the same soul. And it's like, these were people that were literally close to this person. And it's like, this person would accept these people because they're family. That's why this person ended up going through judgment. And they were in regret, five of cups. They were ashamed. They were embarrassed because they were warned. And they did not take heed. Everything backfired. They could have got hit with some of that karma. As they were at the Seven of Cups confused. I'm so done. Yeah, envy is here. This person realized that they did this out of envy and they were only them in their life. You've changed. This person could feel like you've changed. Obstacles is here. After going through a lot of obstacles and betrayal. Yeah, and dealing with a bunch of people that were haters. Secret haters. These are people you don't even know that's attached to this person. That you share the same soul with. They were only trying to block your blessings. And this is why they're receiving bad karma. We're trying to slow this person down out of jealousy. Cancer is here. You could be a cancer. One of these people could be a cancer. This is sad. Transformation in here, but it caused a transformation. It caused this person to go through a transformation and put an end to a situation. They've experienced a rebirth. Gemini is here. You could be a Gemini. One of these people could be a Gemini. Whoever this Gemini is, they could be suffering in silence. Because this person went through a transformation and they put an end to a situation. Yeah, they're dealing with some type of burdens. Yeah, realizing that they were learning lessons. You're someone that's very intuitive. Yeah, they're panicking. <laughs> this is sad. It's like this person already knew you knew hidden knowledge about them, whoever this Knight of Wands energy is. So it's like, it's a Knight of Wands energy here that's panicking. And then different, multiple family members, because this Five of Wands, this is family. They were trying to slow this person down out of jealousy. Whoever this Knight of Wands energy is, this could have been somebody that they were having sex with. And they cut this person off and left this person out in the cold. You exposed this person or somebody else exposed this person or knew some hidden knowledge about this person. Everybody was trying to slow this person down and distract this person out of jealousy. Yeah, Leo is here. You could be a Leo. One of these people could be a Leo. Yeah, this is somebody that only wanted to use that person. Reconnecting is here. It's like they they want to reconnect with you after seeing things for what it is. They realize they needed to set healthy boundaries. This person found out you're their twin flame. And then you have Sagittarius is here. You could be a Sagittarius. One of these people could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, and then happiness is here. It's like they're, they're happy that they found out you're their twin flame. 
but it's like they got hit with some some of this judgment, some of this karma staying attached to these this these people, and they were kind of being stubborn. They didn't want to believe whatever you had and said because they didn't want to believe these people would do that. But now they're seeing things for what it is. Realizing that you had to move forward as they were at the Seven of Cups. It's like they're trying to win at all costs to stop you from moving forward. It's like they don't want you to, you know, go towards new love. Because they know that you're their twin. Doesn't want to work. And then growth is here. Yeah, it's like you, you're someone that have grown. You chose to move forward. That's why growth is here. And you could have new love coming in. They were attached to somebody who did not want to work. That only wanted to use them. And this is somebody that's desperate. They were desperate to have this person in isolation and solitude away from you. They realized this person was a hidden enemy the entire time. Yeah, now they want you to wait for them. Wait on something or... They're trying to wait to get out of some type of situation and then they want to come towards you. 